Well, today I'm starting to think about the drawers, uh, drawer fronts in the uh, bureau. And I've laid out here uh, the six smaller drawers that there are on either side of the knee hole. So you got a, a small, medium, and, and large drawer. This is, of course, excess material up there. But uh, it's a pretty good layout. Uh, you want the grain to match uh, all the way across and of course they'll be shaped together so that they look like one continuous piece. So we got two sets of drawers left and right and then uh, over there the top drawer is uh, 33 inches by 6 so uh, it's that long piece that's across uh, the front there. Now it's a little oversized but uh, you don't know what you're going to run into until you start to mill it, so I've got a little extra uh, there. So we're going to cut this out and start to mill them. They're an inch and an eighth thick. All of these uh, drawer fronts are an inch and an eighth thick. I'm working on the uh, blocking of the front drawers, three of the front drawers here. This is the right, uh, left side. And uh, what I did was I uh, cut the rough curve uh, on the bandsaw on each of the drawers. And now I've got them clamped together here so that I can uh, clean them up. And I'm just using a uh, small plane here. I'd use a hollow, but I don't have one that large that will fit that curve. And uh, once I get them close and then I'll be using a scraper here to uh, finish them up. But this is one way to um, see that they're all the same shape and uh, they'll look much better that way. Well I made another scraper here to fit the uh, shape of the uh, blocking that's on the uh, fronts of the drawers and uh, I cut the r I roughed them out with the bandsaw and then used a hand plane to uh, round them over a bit and now I'm using uh, my custom scraper and it works quite well and I'm doing three at a time, so we'll have them equal and not too long. Well, this is a, uh, a photograph of a Townsend Bureau. And um, you'll see the very small dovetails here on the side of the block drawers. Uh, they're only a quarter inch uh, wide because uh, this edge is only three eighths of an inch. So they're very shallow. The other thing that's unusual about uh, Townsend's drawers are that you can see the drawer bottom through this side here uh, all the way along uh, all of them and what he did was he put a groove in the face so the drawer bottom would fit into the groove uh, the grain runs from the back uh, as opposed to side to side except on the on the big drawer and then he uh, so he nailed the bottoms to the sides and then applied, uh, I assume glued, uh, a runner uh, along the bottom to uh, complete the drawer. So since we're reproducing it as best we can, we're going to do the same. Well, I'm putting in the drawer runners now and they're just poplar uh, runners that fit in the dado that I made earlier and I'm nailing it in with my 18th century air nailer. Well this is uh, one of the drawers that I've just constructed and uh, I'm trying to be as authentic as I can on uh, this particular build. So, I showed you this before, 
this is the Townsend drawer, and uh, what I've done is I count off the number of tails that he has, and then uh, apply that uh, to the the side here to try and get the exact sizes of his uh, uh, dovetails. And uh, what we've got here is uh, a bottom drawer, or lar one of the larger drawers, constructed the way uh, he did it. And uh, as you can see in the photo, he, he left about a sixteenth at the top. And I think the reason that these have to be rounded over yet, he rounded over the tops of them, but uh, I think the reason he did that was because of the uh, expansion of the sides of the drawers so that they wouldn't stick. The only thing that's full size is, uh, is the front. Uh, of course you have half blind uh, dovetails here and then just regular through dovetails in, in the back. And it's three eighths of an inch short of the bottom here because the way he uh, constructed his bottoms was, I have a, a bottom piece here, and I put the bevel on it on the table saw, so by just tilting the, the blade on the table saw and uh, running it through this way, we've got an inch and seven eighths uh, uh, bevel here that goes from the thickness of the material, which I think is three eighths of an inch down to an eighth on the corner and it it fits here so that takes up one eighth of the uh, three uh, three eighths that we have left short here on the bottom just as he did uh, there needs to be a groove a one eighth inch groove in here so that the uh, the bottom can slip into the a groove on the front I haven't done that yet but uh, then they, he made these strips which are uh, at the same angle as this bevel and uh, they fit right here and they're a quarter inch of a, th a thick on this side and then three sixteenths on that side because that's what it slopes down to so that they are, they're flat and uh, I've got to make up a bunch of these and that makes up the three eighths of an inch so he nailed these, uh, the bottom to the sides, and then these, I th believe that uh, he nailed and glued uh, them on. The grain runs front to back. So uh, that's what Townsend did, and that's what we're going to do here. So uh, we've got two done and a few more to go. So rounding over the uh, tops of the drawer sides. So I'm sawing out the uh, pins here on the uh, drawer front. Well, we got a little test fit here after chopping out the dovetails. Not too tight. Pretty good fit. So I'm finishing up the drawers now. So they've been glued up, and I've got a uh, five sixteenths inch uh, bottom here uh, with the bevel that goes down to an eighth of an inch. And then these strips that are cut to the same six degree uh, slope so that they fit in there. And uh, I'm going to glue and nail them on. I know they nailed them on. I don't know whether or not they added a glue or not, but I'm going to glue them for a little more strength. So I'm using my old brown glue here. 
and I've got a, a line on here so that I know where three eighths of an inch is and I have my 18th century pin nailer here And that's it. So I have to do the other side and then this drawer will be finished.